We're at the Apple Valley Orchard here in Cleveland, Tennessee. And can you introduce yourself to us? Yes, I can. Hello, my name is Chuck McSpadden and I'm the owner of Apple Valley Orchards. And um, how long have you been here? Actually, uh, we started selling apples in 1972. You start with one tree, how did it work? Actually, my father set, set two trees in the backyard for, and it started his hobby. Huh. And then it just grew from there. We currently have about 16,000 trees in the orchard at this time. So 1972 and now you have 16,000 trees. Yes. Started with two, that's amazing. Are all of the apples the same? No, we have 20, this year we will harvest 27 different varieties and probably within three to four years we'll be picking 31 to 32 different varieties. I'm planting new varieties every couple of years to add to the different flavors we have. Do you have any popular varieties? Uh, yes, we have some several very popular varieties like Gala and Fuji and Mutsu and Pink Lady and then some older varieties like Arkansas Black which is a apple that ripens in late October and it actually gets it's black in color when it gets ripe. Or we have one one of my favorites which is called Gold Rush which is a very firm apple and very juicy and it keeps extremely well. Very good. So do you think we could see some on the tree? Yes, let's walk right over here. Wine sap apples. These are another one of our very popular varieties in this part of the country. Uh, in fact, probably for the first couple of weeks of October, it's our most popular variety. Oh, okay. Are they sweet or? A little bit tart with a little sweetness, but a little more tart. Great for cooking. Uh, of course, we have some folks who like a little more of a tart apple to eat. Okay. In fact, on average, it's, we found out in our customers, uh, women seem to prefer a tart apple over a man. Oh, man. okay. <laughs> All and right. it'll work out about 75% of the time. Okay. All right, so are all of these the same kind or are they different? No, actually, uh, this tree right up here is called an Arkansas Black. That's oh. the type of variety it is. And in about four to five weeks, these will actually be so dark they will be black in color. Okay. And actually, with this little russet from frost in the spring, mm -hmm. these apples will actually be black and gold. Okay, so inside, what color will they it's be? Just, it's just a normal white flesh oh, okay. of an apple. All right, but the it's outside. just the peeling will be will be be black on the outside. Okay, all right. Well, um, I'm seeing rows. Those trees over there are they different than these over here? Yes. Okay, and what kind are they? Uh, that first row right here is their variety is called Pink Lady. Pink Lady. I've heard of those and I think I've tasted them and I think I like them. They are All right, so this is what they look like on the yes, bush. Yes, and actually these uh these still have about 60 days before they'll be picked. Okay. They are it's str strange. This is the first variety that blooms in our orchard. Ah. Uh -huh. And it's the last thing we harvest. Okay. It has to hang a very <laughs> long time to get ripe. <laughs> All right, so how do you pick them? We use our hand. Just regular hand, no machines, no, no nothing? No, they still have not come up with a machine yet to, to harvest apples. Okay. So we still harvest apples the same way they harvested apples 500 years ago. That's cool. That's, that's actually very cool. And so... Over here, this is our, our packing house. This is actually... We'll, what we where we bring our apples after they are harvested mm -hmm. and we we wash them and we size them and we grade them we have a machine that actually si sizes the apples uh -huh. we have uh and we have uh, people in here that are grading them you know according to quality uh -huh. and uh then we go and then they'll be ever put in their cold storage unit all right oh wow so is this a sorter over here? Yes. Oh. Here's sort of, here's some that just come out of the field. Nice. You know, and they're just all different. We, out of this field, we actually had some frost, late, uh, some late frost damage. So some of it has a little rougher appearance. Right. But, uh. It smells so good in here, though. Wait till I take you to the cooler. Oh. local grocery stores uh -huh. uh, and then we also do some folks who actually you know set up on at flea markets or 
or just little farmers markets and right. you know and sell produce. So do you sell it only at local grocery stores, or do you ever send them away? Uh, occasionally we do send them away. We have sent them as far away as as Mississippi and nice. Alabama, and and actually we sent a load. Well, we sent a load last year to West Tennessee, a whole tractor okay. trailer load. Very good. But uh, we sell most of it local. Right. Either as an apple or maybe as, as in a gallon of cider. I like it. So you said something about a cooler. Let's go, let's walk this way. We'll see where we put our apples after they are harvested. So we harvested our apples and we washed them and we grated them and we boxed them up. And after that, we go in here, we can come in here. And this is where you can really tell oh the Oh my goodness, gas. it smells so <laughs> wow, that's a lot of apple smell. Absolutely amazing. Okay, everybody, it smells amazing. It smells like you can eat the air. All right, eat the air. And these are all apples. Yeah, and a friend of mine tell me that what he needs to do is learn how to bottle this smell. I know. I, he can sell a lot. This is awesome. Take a sniff. Uh, I wish you were here. <laughs> They outside people come and visit you here? Yes, we would love to have you. Okay, right. do you have tours? We do a trailer ride tour tours for anyone on Saturdays and Sundays mm -hmm. at, in September and October at 2 and 4. All right. Except for the third weekend in October when we're doing the Apple Festival in downtown Cleveland. Which is really big. We are getting, <laughs> we're, we just have too much to do to actually do the tours that yeah. day too because it's all hands on deck to take care of that. I totally understand. Uh, but, and that cost is a dollar, and there'll be somebody drive a tractor, and I'll come out and tell you a little bit about the history of the orchard and all, and how we grow our apples. And then, during Monday through Friday, we do a lot of school tours, and, uh, you know, home school tours, and public schools, and private school tours for, for kids. Basically, we're geared to kindergarten, or pre-K through second grade for our tours at that time. And we tell them about, you know, we talk about insects in the orchard and how we monitor the insects and we talk about the different, show them the buds where the apples will be next year. Right. And then we'll, we do them a trailer, we do a trailer ride and we do a Johnny Appleseed story time and, nice. and then we do the tour of the building and show them what happens to the apples after they're harvested. And um, your hours of operation on a regular day. On, uh, for, for August through October, it's it's uh, Monday through Saturday from 9 to 6, mm -hmm. and Sunday's from 12 to 6, and then November and December, it is uh, 9 to 5 and 12 to 5. 12 to 5. Do you guys have a, an online presence? Is there yes. somewhere? Yes, uh, applevalleyorchard.com. All right. Thank you so much, and hopefully... We'll have some families coming in here. Well, we would enjoy we would enjoy having them. All right, thank you so much. Thank you.